friends, it's I, your good old pal DT, uh, to do some Shakespeare. No fear, uh, here we go. Ha! I'm Touchstone! We'll get married as, at some point, Audrey. Be patient. I'm Audrey. Really, the priest was good enough, no matter what that old guy said. No! He was wicked and vile. But, Audrey, there's a boy in the forest who claims you're his girl. Yes, I know you're talking about, but he has no claim on me. Ah, Willem enters. Here comes the man himself. It warms my heart to encounter such a country pumpkin, truly. We witty men can't hold our tongues. We have to mess with the likes of him. Just, we just can't help it. I'm William. Good evening, Audrey. Good evening, William. And good evening to you, sir. Good evening to you, good friend. No, no, put your hat back on. Put it back on. No, please. Keep your head covered. How are you, old friend? I'm William. Twenty-five, sir. A mature age is your name, William? Yes, it is William, sir. A good name. Were you born here in the forest? Yes, sir. Thank God. Thank God is a good answer. Are you rich? Well, so-so. So-so is good, very good, an excellent answer. And then again, it is not so good, but only so-so. Are you wise? Yes, sir, I am fairly wise. Well, that's a fine answer. I seem to remember a saying, only a fool who thinks he's wise. The wise man who knows that he is in fact a fool. When one self-described a philosopher wanted to eat grapes, he opened his lips when they entered his mouth, thereby making a the theoretical point that grapes were made to be eaten, in lips to open. Do you love this girl? I do, sir. Give me a hand. Are you educated? No, sir. They learn this of me. To, to have is to have, for it is a figure in retort that drink wrong thing. When you pour a drink out of a cup into a glass, the cup becomes empty, and all the authorities know that Ips is Latin for he. You are... <laughs> I am allergic to Shakespeare. You are no longer Ips, but, but because I am he. <laughs> Which he, sir? <laughs> Why, the he that will marry this woman, and therefore, idiot, abandoned, or... <laughs> Or common language leave the society which the boorish tongue is company of this female. Maybe you'll get it if I say woman instead of it at once. Now, abandon the society of this female or simpleton. You'll perish. Let me put it in the way you will understand. You will die. Or rather, I will kill you. Or I'll do away with you or turn your life into death and your freedom into captivity. Or I'll poison you or beat you with a club or stab you with a sword. I'll bandy you about or overwhelm you with my cleverness. I will, in other words, kill you in 350 ways. Therefore, tremble and leave with fear. I'm Audrey. Do what he says, William. Farewell, sir. He exits. And Corn enters. I'm Corn. Our master and mistresses are looking for you. Let's go. Hurry up, Audrey. I'm coming, I'm coming. They all exit. Okay, cool, cool. Um. Sure. Um. I'm Orlando. Is, isn't it possible 
that on so little acquaintance you sh Is it really possible that you could like that girl right after meeting her and fall in love with her immediately, merely after seeing her? And soon as you fall in love with her, woo her? And as soon as you woo her, you give her accept? And do you really mean to marry her? I'm Orlando. Okay. I'm Oliver now. I'm Oliver. Don't question the foolish haste of it all, or poverty, or or our short time together, or the abruptness of my countership, or the abruptness of her consent. But say with me I love Eliana, and say with me that she loves me. Agree to this match so we can enjoy each other. It will be your advantage, because I'll leave our father's house and all his property to you. Well, I'll live and die a shepherd of the forest. You have my consent. You can be married tomorrow if you want. I'll invite the Duke and all of his followers. Go get Eliana ready, because look, here comes my Rosalind. And it's just Rosalind. Hello, brother. I'm I'm Ro I I I'm Rosalind. And hello to you, fair sister. Oh, darling Orlando, isn't it so hard to see you wearing your head uh, heart in a sling? Oh, actually, it's my arm. I thought you her heart has been wounded by lion claws. My heart has been wounded, but by a lady, not a lion. Did your brother tell you? Well, I pretended to do taunt when he showed me the handkerchief. Oh no. Yes, he told me some things that were even more amazing. Oh, I know what you are talking about. It's true. It, it was as sudden as the two, oh, geez, as the two rams running into each other, as quick. For me, I just get I'm Rosalind. As quick, as quick as Julius and Caesar's, I came, I saw, I conquered. Your brother and my sister had no sooner met them than they gave each other a good once over. They had no sooner looked at each other than they fell in love. No sooner fell in love than they sighed. No sooner sighed than at each other what they had sighed. No sooner answered. The most total solution, and in this way, a degree by disagree, they build a staircase towards marriage, and they had better climb those stairs immediately, or else they'll end up in bed before they have to. When they are in a part of passion, they simply have to be together. You couldn't beat the two of them apart. Oh, jeez. I'm Orlando. They'll be married tomorrow, and I'll invite the Duke to the ceremony. But oh, it makes me bitter to look at happiness through another man's eyes. Tomorrow I'll be at the depths of my misery, thinking about the happiness my brother has achieved, and having what he has wished for. Well then. Well then. I, I can act. Well then, I can act as Rosalind for you tomorrow. I can't live by pretending anymore. I won't exhaust you anymore with idle cheek chat. You should know that I I think you're a smart man. I really mean it. I'm not telling you this so you can think well of me. Me? Who wouldn't think well of someone who thought well of him after all? I'm, and I'm not trying to enhance my own reputation, but only to do you good. Believe me, then, that I have special powers. Since I was three years old, I've been in contact with a powerful but virtuous magician. No black magic here, buddy. But if you love Rosalind, as you say, you will marry her when your brother marries Eliania. I know where she is, and if you don't mind, I'll sit before tomorrow, a whole and unfriend. Are you serious? I'm Orlando.
Orlando. I swear on my life, which I take pretty seriously, even if, even if I am a magician. So put on your best, so put, so put on your best clothes and tell your friends to come. Because if you want to be married tomorrow, you have to be married to Rosalind. You will. So if you see the enter. I wrote you. Okay, I'm gonna cut it off right here. Part two coming up.